Today we will be going to perform pH metric titration of a strong acid using a strong base. So we are in need of oxalic acid, digital balance and all necessary glassware like a burette, conical flask, measuring cylinder, pipettes and a pH meter with glass membrane electrode. As a regular procedure, we have to clean all the glassware before starting our experiment. Now, it is the turn to prepare oxalic acid solution as oxalic acid is a primary standard solution. It is used to standardize sodium hydroxide solution. Accurately weighed quantity of oxalic acid is transferred into a 100 ml volume. And by adding minimum quantity of water, dissolve the substance and try to transfer the substance by tapping the weighing bottle completely into the volumetric flask through the funnel. Add some more quantity of water and dissolve the substance. Swirl the volumetric flask in such a way that all the substance gets completely dissolved. Now using a pipette make the solution of oxalic acid up to the mark with distilled water. Tilt the volumetric flask to make the solution homogeneous. Now pick up a burette which is already cleaned into which fill sodium hydroxide solution and verify for the absence of air bubbles or any air gaps in the burette to avoid any errors. Now adjust the level of sodium hydroxide solution to zero by slowly opening the nozzle of the burette. Now using a pipette transfer 10 ml of oxalic acid into a cleaned 250 ml conical flask. Now mix 20 ml of distilled water using a measuring cylinder into the conical flask. Add 1 to 2 drops of phenophthalein as indicator. Titrate this mixture using sodium hydroxide solution already taken into the burette. Add drop by drop the solution of sodium hydroxide from the burette into the conical flask. Continuous swirling always gives a homogeneous reaction mixing. So do not avoid or stop the mixing at a particular point. Now the appearance of pale pink color indicates the completion of the chemical reaction between oxalic acid and sodium hydroxide solution which is noted as the end point. Repeat this process to get concurrent readings and using the formula you will be calculating the concentration of sodium hydroxide solution. Now the given unknown solution or test sample solution of strong acid is made up to the mark using distilled water and 10 ml of the test sample solution is transferred into a 100 ml beaker. To this add 40 ml of distilled water using a measuring cylinder. Now insert the glass membrane electrode into the mixture. Using a glass rod mix the solution thoroughly to make it homogeneous and record the stable value as zero reading. Now from the burette add 1 ml of sodium hydroxide solution into the beaker stir the mixture and record the values. 
continue this process until we find a sudden raise in the pH of the solution as this reaction proceeds to neutralization reactions. Now again add further 1 ml of sodium hydroxide solution into the beaker. Always continuous stirring gives you accurate readings. Now here I am adding 0.1 ml of sodium hydroxide solution rather 1 ml to get more accuracy I have been adding uh, 0.1 ml of sodium hydroxide solution from the starting so that's why you observe a very gradual increase in the pH at a particular point we will be getting a sudden jump we will observe it So don't forget add 0.1 ml of sodium hydroxide solution from the buret and that's what uh, the reading uh, on the screen. Now please observe another 0.1 ml of sodium hydroxide will make the change from acidic pH to alkaline pH through a neutral value that is 7 which indicates that the completion of the chemical reaction which means a stoichiometrical chemical reaction has got completed. Now we have to plot a graph by taking volume of NaOH on x-axis, pH on y-axis. Otherwise the same values can be plotted by first derivative graph also. Thank you.